Hey guys, what's going on? It's King Clutch here, and today, guys, we're back in the NBA 2K21. I hope you guys are having a great day and everything's going well for you. Um, I just want to say I'm pretty excited with this game. I'm happy with the game, where the game turned out so far. Everything seems to be pretty fluid, like my career wise. But today, what I want to show you guys is some hidden build options here. So, real quick, you can do this with any build. Now, this just gives you more options of what you can do. So, again, this stuff doesn't necessarily matter. It works with any build. I'm just going to show you one for an example. So, say we go a like a play shot for a point guard. I'm just throwing this as an example. The physical profile, this stuff really doesn't matter. Um, I'm just going to throw all these attributes up. I'm going to try to keep them the same um, for each build just so um, you can tell the difference. What you can do if you want to get more different build options, we'll go define. Here's where you can look for the height. So the base height for this build is 6'3". It looks like you can go down 6'2", 6'1", 6 foot all the way to 5'7". But then from 6'3", generally you're not going to make it shorter. You'd probably go up to like 6'5". With a point guard this year, you can go all the way from 6'3 to 6'8". But just pay attention to some of these numbers. So like Say this build 6-5, you're getting a plus one to your driving dunk, a plus one to your close shot, and a plus one to your standing dunk, and that's two up from this 6-3. I, I, I hope that makes sense. And then you're like losing three on your ball handle. But as you guys can see here, for these height options, there's one, two, three, four, five, five options above 6-3. So just pay attention to that and then look at some of these stats. Just like look at a key stat. Look at like this 6-5. So look at the close shot, the driving layup, the standing dunk, and then your ball handle goes down by three. Just look at that. So it's plus one, plus one, plus one, and minus three. So what you're going to want to do and how you can unlock these hidden build options, they had this in the game last year as well, but you can go to the feature tab over here and go down to settings and then you can actually change this instead of the empirical system as we use here in america you can use the metric system which is what they use everywhere else um and if you guys don't know that metric system it's just meters essentially so for this build i just want to show you guys this so point guard all that doesn't matter take this place shot as you guys will see with this build is there's a few things that change with this you get a lot more height options when it comes to this there's more incremental levels you could go like six five and a half or six four and a half with this so it makes a big difference when it comes to certain thresholds on things so this would be the six three so this median spot right here this 1.91 meters would be your equivalent to say to your six three height but as you guys saw with the six five height when we went up three or when we went up two on this this would be this here but this we had a plus one on everything but we had a minus three on our ball handle so to get that we'd have to go to this 1.95 meters so essentially these gaps between this 1.91 one of these is that six four height but the other one is like six one and a half this maxed out is obviously your six eight most of these in between are like the median levels like this one here this 2.02 .02. most of these ones that have weirder incremental levels are going to be different levels so this is what you can do so if you're like really close on getting a ball handle or a driving dunk and you want to get a build that gets the best of both worlds you might as well go with this because this this allows you to get those different measurements because this 1.95 would be your equivalency to your six five and this would be like six five and a quarter six five and a half i don't know the exact measurement difference but this is a way where you can have these different options and these different options can make a big difference concerning the builds when it comes to the dribble threshold with them bringing the ball handle up to an 85 to get pro dribble moves and the driving dunks being elite contact dunks at 85 and pros at 84 it makes a big difference so this is one way you can do this the height has a big difference because then you can get incremental build for height and it'll like obviously if it's six five and a half it'll probably say it's either six six or six five but this is a way you can just run right back into this and i'll show you guys just for an example so it should show my player my actual player is the height he is six five it's not going to show his height but as you guys can see here 1.96 meters is this build here it's just my slashing playmaker that i made the 94 kilograms um and then if we just go back to the to the empirical system it'll change that back to what the equivalency is so then this is 65208 this is a big deal when it comes to creating some of these builds this allows you to get better options it allows you to get more options and you can tinker with it more to your liking that is a huge thing because with the way they drink with the ball handle a lot of people are kind of upset that the ball handle is so high and that this way you might be able to tweak some builds and maybe put them a certain way to be able to get some of those moves and this is just a way you can get some hidden up so yeah overall it's just worth messing with the metric system and getting those incremental height versions if you want something that's like six five and a half and the thing is i don't know if it'll like actually make a difference like if you're stand if you're like six five and a half if you don't pick like six five if you pick the one slightly above that if you will be maybe like a half inch taller i really don't know 
um, we'd have to like actually take two players, stand them next to each other, and see if there's a difference. Because 2K might just round it, but it might just make a difference on your attributes besides your like actual physical height in the game, if that makes sense. It's a cool thing that they have, and it's a lot of things some a lot of people don't know about it. It's been in the game, and it's easy to find. It's not like it's a glitch or anything. It's literally right in the game. So this is a way that you're able to tweak with your my player builder and you know get different builds and things like that get different height variations it's a very very cool thing to do so i would suggest doing that with the build that you guys want to play with get it to the best height you possibly can but this is a way you can tweak with your build i just wanted to let you guys all know that to start off 2k21 it's a great thing to use when you you know go on making your builds it's the first day so if you're not completely set on a build you can at least do this to get the most perfect build for you but we're going to be back probably with the regular build scheduled tomorrow guys but anyways it's been king clutch here hopefully you enjoyed the video anyways have a great day and peace out guys thanks